Ja. <laughs> All right, so Netflix has a new horror movie called The Conference, and it is Swedish. Yep. And it is about a group of people who work for this company, and they are going to uh, break ground. They're doing like a, a ceremonial thing for this uh, big multiplex thing they're opening some big project building on this land. And there's somebody who's not so happy about them moving in, trying to bring this industrial freaking, uh, you know, dismantling of their, of their little town. And uh, they're, they're, they're killing people. Yep. They're killing people. It's killing a slasher. Yeah. It's a slasher movie, which I wasn't expecting. No. Um, I don't know what I was expecting. I was expecting like people to be turning on each other in the in the business, like fighting for. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Mm. I, I, I I based this on literally nothing. I saw like two seconds of a trailer, so I don't know why. But this is a slasher movie. Uh, what do you think? Um, I thought it was pretty fun. Um, I like the design of the slasher's mask. I actually thought that they looked pretty cool. At first, I was kind of like, mm, I don't know if that's practical, but I was like, yeah, it doesn't really matter. It looks, it looked cool, and it fit with the theme that they were going for. So I liked the design of the slasher, and I thought that there was some pretty silly parts in it. Like, it's definitely a horror comedy. Uh, some unbelievable, like, reactions to things that characters have, but it was pretty charming overall. And I think that there's... The, the biggest complaint I have is that, like, the kills are all cutaway kills, um, which I think is probably a huge complaint for you, too. I think showing them would always make a slasher film better, so I wasn't a fan of, of that in this, that it wasn't graphic, because there was some creative things that were done with kills that would have been cool to see. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I liked the movie. I just, yeah. I, I mirror your sentiments there. Mm -hmm. I, it's just don't make a slasher movie these days. We're not in the 70s anymore, right? Black Christmas and Halloween and Texas Chainsaw Massacre, they had this incredible atmosphere and tone to them with, with this you know, great soundtrack and, uh, or, or just ominous tone or whatever. And, and there was such a style to them and had Bob Clark and Tobey Hooper and John Carpenter behind them. Like, those guys, they were able to pull that off, and that's the style of that time, and it, it just doesn't work anymore. No. Post, like, Friday the 13th era slasher movies, just for me personally, uh, the whole point of them is they're supposed to be graphic, yeah. and so I just, that's frustrating to me in 2023 that anyone would even want to make a slasher movie and not have it be graphic. That, that is crazy to me, that a filmmaker who's a slasher fan is put behind the camera and isn't doing everything in their power to make the film graphic. Like, yeah. what's the point? Why even make it? Who are you making it for? Slasher fans want kills to be on screen you are a slasher fan, probably, if you're making this movie, unless they just hired a, like, random stock director. But, like, when you're making a film for a specific audience, like I've said before, and I'll continue to keep saying that, like, modern-day slashers not having on-screen kills is like porn without sex. Mm -hmm. Nobody's going to watch porn for the performances. Now, if the porn had like a really great, compelling story and it was actually like well acted and there was like some drama and intrigue in it as well, I would be like, wow, that is kind of shocking and I'm kind of <laughs> into this more than I thought I'd be, but I would still be pissed if there was no sex on screen yeah. happening. You yeah. know what I mean? So you're there for a specific purpose. So like do that or just don't do it. Like to me, it's you don't you don't have the go ahead. If they say, I'll, I'll make your movie, but you got to cut, cut the kills out. Then you say, then you don't want to make my movie. Right, right, right. Right. You just have to stand firm. This is where I, this is why I respect Peter Jackson more than like any director ever. 
because he went and he had a vision for Lord of the Rings and he was like three films, three films and every studio turned him down. And then every like studio would be like, well, I can give you this amount of money to make one. Yeah. And a lot of people would just jump at that and be like, okay, like you're going to let me do it. Okay. I have to alter my vision. But, and Peter Jackson was just like, no. Yeah, like, this is it. This is it. He did kind of cave at one point. He was going to try to make it two, and New Line was like, no, it's three. Uh, watch the documentaries and behind the scenes. It's like freaking 20 hours long. So, But anyway, I just, with these kinds of movies, I just implore directors. Like, I get it. The jumping at the chance to direct your own movie, and they're going to finance it. And it's awesome. That's super cool, and it would be very hard to say no to. But you've got to see your vision. Now, this might be the director's vision, but your vision sucks. If you're making a slasher movie without kills in it on screen, your vision sucks for slashes. Yeah. In my opinion, you can disagree and you can be like, what are you talking about? It's so rare. It's so you have to be, you have to do stuff so well on one end in order to negate the fact that the kills are missing. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. You have to make something so compelling. You have to make something so stylistic. You have to make something so entertaining that you're like, ah, even though there wasn't kills on screen, I still enjoyed it. But even then, I would still be like, I still want the kills. Yeah. Right. Yeah, even though I love the movie, I still feel like it's blue balls because I still want those kills. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think you said it well. I, I wanted the kills. I don't think, I think this is a fun film, but I don't yeah. think that it is what you were saying. Like, I don't think it's something that you can look away from the fact that there isn't kills on screen. Um, at least for us, you know, other people have different preferences and tastes as far as, it, as violence on screen goes. But for us, we want to see it, and I think a lot of people do too. So, but it's, it's an okay watch. Um, yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's fine. It's charming, it like you charming said. It's charming, and there's, there's some funny stuff with, like, the characters mm -hmm. and their interactions, and, like, you know, the, it, it is good. It is good in that, in that sense, so. Yeah, the Pepto-Bismol line got me pretty good. Yeah, that was really funny. Like, stuff like that. There's some, there's some charming um, stuff. It's well shot. The, the characters are, you know, kind of archetypal, but they're, they they're, they're yeah. fun, and yeah. they serve their roles. There's some gore. There's some things, bit, right? Bit, it's yeah. not like it's completely void of any of it. There's stuff with a scalp. Mm -hmm. There's stuff with uh, stuff. I, I'm not going to get into it, but I think it's a fine film. But this yeah. is the kind of movie that's like, if I was like, I don't do like one out of 10 ratings, but this is the kind of film that's like a, like a 5.56 ish somewhere. Like, yeah, let's, yeah, I'll give it a six. I'll be fair. It's like a six put in really graphic, awesome kills and maybe work on a little more of the like comedic mm. stuff with the characters mm -hmm. and you've got like an eight yeah. eight and a half on your hands sure. right yeah, it's you could definitely yeah. elevate it shit a lot. you could bring this up to an eight just with super graphic kills yeah. keeping the film exactly the same as it is i think so too but it's just like what we're there for is not being given to us yeah. and they're it's like i don't understand the point of making a film like this in this way, right? Because the, the they're trying to send a message, right? The film definitely has a message uh, to it about um, you know the, these like WalMarts and whatnot coming into small towns and ruining uh, their towns. Mm -hmm. And I a hundred percent am behind that stuff. Like I get that, yeah. Right? Like we don't want these big corporations and conglomerates coming in and and, and disrupting our you know, ebb and flow of our community. Like, mm -hmm. I, I get all of that. But if you're going to do it in a slasher style, then the slashing needs to happen. We have beat yeah. on, we beat this horse till it's dead and gone and buried and, and decayed down to nothing yeah. uh, in so many reviews now. But, like, no one's listening. <laughs> so no we got to keep saying it. Yes. Stop making slashers in 2023 without graphic on-screen kills. And maybe we're not the only, you know, maybe, maybe there's not everyone else in the world believes that, but I don't give two shits <laughs> because they're not real slasher fans. Because <laughs> yeah. even like, even the Halloween franchise got with the picture. Oh, sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like the first movie. Yeah. There's no kills in it. 
But they even, like in 1981, they saw, right? I, just la one last second and then we'll go. But they noticed, like, we have to put kills in these movies now. Yeah. They went back and they and they added that girl's death and the you know outside of the um, I always forget what her freaking name is for some reason. Oh, I don't I don't know um, her name right now either. But they but added yeah. that kill and they and they made sure that there was graphic kills on screen, even though that movie's not really all that graphic. They added that stuff because they knew that's the era that we had entered, yeah. and that was only three years after Halloween was made. Yeah. That was because of nightmare uh, because of. Friday, Friday the 13th yeah. and then from there people just knew in that genre like if we're going to do these we got to do them right. we got to commit to them that's what we are now and to me that's just it's set in stone like the slasher genre is a is you can have great stuff in your slasher movie that is not kills it doesn't have to be hollow it doesn't have to be generic yeah. you know throwaway characters that aren't interesting you don't have to that is not necessary you can do all that stuff amazing, but the kills are non-negotiable for me. Mm -hmm. That's like, I'll give you the, as long as you got this, we got something to work with here. Yeah. If you got, if this is, this is my, this is my, uh, you know, when, when, you, when you're, when you're doing like politics, there's certain things that you're like, no, 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 no. This has to be in the bill. Yeah. I will not listen unless <laughs> this is in the bill. This is how I am with slashers. This is the slasher bill of rights. <laughs> and in there has to be on-screen graphic kills or I ain't listening. Facts. Yeah. yeah. Vote for me, 2024. <laughs> uh -huh. All right, guys. Bye.